Oh, good morning, my beautiful little heat slave. Today is a very exciting day indeed. Why, you ask? Well, today is the day of the royal hunt that I and my sisters partake in every single year. We leave our homes here in our caves, and we go out looking for splendid young men to bring home to us. Oh, but do not worry. I, of course, will not replace you. I was simply lucky enough to have stumbled upon you a few days ago when you were lost nearby my home. But the other girls, my sisters, they have sensed your presence and your heat and your warmth, and it has led them to be ravenous for the warm blood of human men. Oh, truly, they have smelt you through the walls. And I have had quite some difficulty trying to keep you safe. But they would never dare to go against their queen's orders. No. For they fear what punishment they would face. But I must go and leave you now here in my chambers. Let me tighten the chains and ropes that bind you to my bed ever so slightly, just to ensure that my good little heat slave will be here when I return. There, that is much better. I don't think that you could leave this bed, no matter how long I left you, to try and escape. But for now, I must say farewell, my dear. For the hunt is calling, and my sisters grow impatient, and I must accompany them on their trip to find their own slaves. Goodbye, my dear. I await returning to you to warm myself up yet again. I mean you no harm. I am one of the sisters of the Queen. No, do not be frightened. I simply 
wanted to see the human man that everyone has been discussing in these past few days. Oh, how strange you are. I am the youngest of all of my sisters, and I have never seen a human before, let alone a human man such as yourself. All of my sisters have gone on the hunt without me, for they say that I am too young to accompany them yet. Though I am just a few hundred years old. Oh. You smell wonderful. And I can feel the heat emanating from your body, even from over here. How strange it is. You burn hotter even than our fires, and your heart beats so quickly. Oh, I have never wrapped myself around a man before. How delightful it must be. Shh, shh, shh. The queen will never know. So long as you don't tell her. And I'm sure that you do not want anything bad to happen to me. Let me just wrap the tip of my tail around you. Just a tiny bit. Oh, what wonderful warmth. Oh, how I desperately want to go all the way up your body with my tail. So splendid it would be. I hope you do not mind if I just inch my tail a little bit further around you. First around your ankle to your knees, maybe. Oh, but the queen, she would have both our heads if she knew what we were doing. But I do not care. Oh, how splendid your warmth is. I feel my blood beginning to beat. My heart beginning to pound as the temperature rises. Oh, what harm can it do to slip my whole tail around your body? Your thighs. Your hips. Your waist, even your strong chest. Oh, how warm it is, and how solid you feel when I squeeze my tail. Oh, how your body beats and pulsates. You and I, we can 
never tell the queen about this. She would be so jealous that someone else had used you and taken the warmth from her heat slave. Oh, the anger that we would both face. You can never tell her. For this, this will be our little secret. Oh, I have never felt a man before. I am so glad that you could have been my first. You are so solid strong beneath my grip, and my scales are so hard, gripped around you, and my heart beats as if it were on fire. (gasps) (gasps) The queen, she returns, you must not tell her anything of this. I must go, but I will return for you, and I will wrap myself around you again, if it is the last thing that I do on this earth. Goodbye, sweet man. I will see you again. Ah, my darling, right where I left you. I have returned quite soon. I forgot my arrows and my quiver and my bow. So silly of me. But I just need grab them and I will return back to my sisters. And we shall leave for our hunt today. Oh, but you look quite flustered. Why are you blushing so? Do you so miss your queen? Do you have such a reaction in my presence? Oh, you sweet little thing. I am glad that I can have such an effect on you. Ah. Goodbye, my dear. I will see you later. I will see you later when the hunt is through. You sit tight and your queen will return and wrap herself around you during the cold, cold night.